My father served in World War II, was at D-Day, Utah Beach and everything, and, uh, you know, uh, didn't tell a lot of war stories, you know, those guys didn't, but uh, came back and were pretty quiet about it, because I was a dumb kid, uh, well, I was not even born when he came back, of course, but uh, didn't talk a lot about it. Uh, in later years, a little bit, uh, and kept kind of a, and I've got the information where he was, what month and days and just different things, a, a notebook of all that, and he passed on uh, to me. But uh, glad you all are here. While I'm on that topic, you know, one of the interesting, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, one of the interesting things about my childhood, and I, I really took it I, for granted or didn't think that much about it, just like we all do, whatever your life is like, that's sort of just normal for you, right? And all the guys in his unit would get together on the July 4th weekend, come from all around the country. And they would generally get come back to our neck of the woods because a lot of them were from Tennessee and Kentucky, Ohio, and the area, Michigan, just wherever. And so even if they were from California or wherever, Maine, they would come to uh, kind of middle America, Kentucky, Tennessee. I know sometimes we'd come down to Clinton, uh, Knoxville area around Tennessee, and, uh, and then often it was up in Kentucky, northern Kentucky, where they would congregate and, uh, and meet there. Uh, sometimes a couple of them would stay at our house, but they'd mostly get motels and then just come and would have like big dinners and barbecues in the yard and at various people's places. And it was just this part of my youth. Every summer, I, I kind of looked forward to it because it was a mass of guys and their families. So it was, it was pretty huge, and it was just something that it went on for, seemed like more, longer than a weekend. Maybe it wasn't, but four or five days. And it's kind of neat. I got to know all those guys, and they were always you know picking at me. And I was four years old, or five years old, or 10 years old, or 15, whatever. And uh, I, I remember names, and you know, just uh, some of them were down here from down in Tennessee. And one of Dad's best friends was from over in East Tennessee. He always talked about him. And, uh, but anyway, he got a picture of him, the two of them on the on Utah Beach, like two days after the invasion, I guess, in front of their little tent headquarters or whatever. But it was a truck company, and uh, they transported troops in and out, you know, uh, you know, in and out, back to the hospital, into the beach, and back to the hospitals, and this whatever. And then uh, there on that day or that time period, and then trucks, literally trucks, amphibious units or whatever. But they were a close knit group of folks. Uh, they really were. They had a good time, drank a few beers. Uh, so it was an interesting part of my youth. And But of course, gradually, you know, it would dwindle. And I remember when I, uh, oh, and was, it was in the 80s when I got into computers, early 80s, and was doing things with spreadsheets and databases and things. I saw Dad, he was responsible uh, at some point for keeping track of all of them and their addresses and like sending out notices and that kind of thing. And he had this long, long, several pages of documents of all those those uh, those vets that served with him, and uh, phone numbers, addresses, and everything. He kept up to date, and he had it on a, a paper and he typed. He would type a little bit <laughs> laboriously, and uh, kept it on just, just typed it, of course. And I offered to put it on uh, disk for him, put it on a computer. At that time, it would have been Apple II or Macintosh. I think Macintosh, maybe by, by the time I was doing that, 84, 85 for him. And I remember typing all that up and, you know, saving it. I told him, yeah, well, I could put this on a computer and you, you just update it. You know, I had to retype it and, you know, all the mess you have to do. White out, in the old days of white out the correct things and update things. And, and so, uh, so I did. I remember when I was doing it because beside a lot of them, there was a category of you know, deceased you know, and even in the 80s, there were a fair number of them deceased. And I remember as I was filling that out and updating that and entering it, you know, is it, or one day that's going to be dad, you know, that, that beside his name. And, of course, it was, 94. But anyway, uh, a lot of people, there's a bond there that, you know, that if you haven't served, which I have not, we can't really relate to and have gone through what they went through. Closest I get to it is just, you know, whatever, some employment or, or uh, sports teams I've played on where you all have a common 
calls of gold and everything. But when you're in harm's way, really in harm's way, and you're being bombed or shot at and all that kind of thing, you know, for weeks and weeks, months and months, uh, nobody can really relate to that unless you've been through it, you know.